When you hear a show tune from the great white way, does a shiver run through ya? Well, we're giving them to ya. Sing hallelujah and shout hooray. Come on along and listen to Broadway to Main Street. You yes. frown upon my face Just left Wisconsin where there's cheese enough to start this rat race But thanks to the brothers ride We don't know where we'll sleep tonight Yeah, I'm a bird in the sky And tomorrow when I rise I'll wake up in Paris with a new love in my heart Or maybe Germany with that brand new pet I met in Stuttgart. Sky's the limit, it's time to play. I'll put down roots some other day. No need to be a lonely show. The jet set is the only way to go. Would you like new music and mystery? Each and every day, who's the same old That's the Jet Set from a very unappreciated score from Catch Me If You Can, starring, I guess, the world's newest sex symbol, Aaron Tveit, a very nice musical about the Jet Set. And today, listeners, uh, I would like you to come fly with me. This is Larry Maslon, your host for Broadway to Main Street, here on 88.3 FM WPPB Peconic Public Broadcasting. Maybe now that we've made the segue into fall, you're a little less relaxed and perhaps you need to get to work or to business and start up the uh, the school year again or the business year again. So today we're going to celebrate uh, those wonderful modes of travel, planes, trains, and automobiles. That is the theme of today's show. doesn't involve Steve Martin or John Candy. 
just uh, three modes of transportation that the Broadway musical has celebrated in many different ways. Planes come first, I suppose, because in the 1920s, figures like Lindbergh were very glamorous. It was a song called Lucky Lindy that I think may have been interpolated into a show or two around 1927. And the idea of an aviator, a high-flying aviator, was a very romantic character. Brown, De Silva, and Henderson wrote a show called Flying High for Burt Lahr in 1931. We don't really have any good recordings of his songs from that show. But let's sort of segue, use the Gershwins, you always like the Gershwins, as a way of glamorizing the aviator image. And in the early 1980s, a musical called My One and Only was concocted from various Gershwin songs. And here's the one that uh, Tommy Toon sang as a high-flying aviator. We're going to hear Chris Connor sing it, because I love her rendition, about being up among the clouds. So here is I Can't Be Bothered Now. Bad news go away Call round someday in March or May I can't be bothered now My bonds and shares may fall downstairs Who cares, who cares I'm dancing and I can't be bothered now I'm up among the stars On earthly things I frown I'm throwing off the bars that held me down I'll pay the piper when times are riper Just now I shan't Because you see I'm dancing and I can't be bothered now When times are riper, just now I shan't Because you see I'm dancing and I can't be bothered Now That was Chris Connor, Up Among the Stars, the wonderful Gershwin Brothers tune. Today is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Let's stick with planes. Some of you may fondly remember the all the the Bob Fosse film, All That Jazz. And All That Jazz was the story of a director-choreographer putting on a new musical for Broadway despite many, many obstacles, both personal and professional. And that character's name was Joe Gideon. And at one point, he stages a backers audition for his latest musical. Anybody remember what it was called? Hands up. Well, it's, it's a big trivia question. The show was called New York or NY-LA, New York, Los Angeles. And here's a question. What big city lies between New York and Los Angeles? That's right, Chicago. So the movie is all full of hints like that. Let's hear a a song we don't hear very much from that score. This is the show Joe Gideon slash Bob Fosse was putting on, and the title number is called Take Off With Us.
was Take Off With Us from the film All That Jazz, and then it starts to get quite erotic after that, but it's a family station. So let us move on to our uh, ETA, our final plain song for this segment of the show. This is the finale from The Drowsy Chaperone, where a wonderful aviatrix flies in and marries everyone and saves the day. So take it away, I do, I do, in the sky. A bride and groom in a chapel may bring a tear to the eye, but what a thrill when love birds trill, I do, I do, in the sky. When vows are said in when a bed, are said in a bees and daffodils fly. Landed our plane on the tarmac of musical comedy heaven. Now let's look at another mode of transportation. This next song means a lot to me on many levels. It was actually the first song I ever played on this station in 2004. I was interviewed by Bonnie Grice on The Song Is You when I had a special about Broadway on television and a book. And this is the first song I played because it's about a train going from New York to Long Island. It's written by Jerome Kern with lyrics by P.G. Woodhouse. Uh, and the singers are Hal Cazalet and Sylvia McNair. And the wonderful, brilliant pianist who really discovered this song again is Stephen Blyer, one of our great talents. So this is the enchanted train puffing its way into the East End. train that pulls out in the twilight quite the best on the list of all trains that exist for it brings the commuters home when the stars up above shed their shy light happy men come again back to fair flushing bay Auburndale, little neck planned every day if you were that way when shades of night are falling you can hear gentle voices a calling all aboard, please. All aboard, please. All aboard. All aboard. Dear magic train that brings you home again, how I shall wish it could fly. How I shall worry and want it to hurry and to stare at the clock as the minutes crawl by. Down at the gate I shall listen and wait Oh, how excited I'll be And how I'll cheer it at night When I hear it bringing you back to me It's quite a humble train, you know And some folks grumble that it's slow It stops to ponder now and then The air inside needs oxygen It's not like some trains known to fail But it's enchanted just the same It moves as though the wheels are flat It rattles too, but what of that? Every bump and every jump seem but to whisper clear 
Getting near, getting near, getting nearer. Soon be home now. Soon be home now. Soon be home. Soon be home. Near magic train, hear it sing that refrain. Near, getting near, getting near. But what I mean it, I feel that each minute is just about six times as long as a year. If cruel fate made me one second late, goodness knows what I would do. No train could be quick enough to suit me when I'm coming back to you. Dear magic train, hear it sing that refrain. Near, getting near, getting near. But while I'm in it, I feel that each minute is just about six times as long as a year. Cruel fate made me one second late. Goodness knows what I would do. No train could be quick enough to suit me when I'm coming back to you. No train could be quick enough to suit me when I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. There was a time when the Broadway musical was the perfect expression of the contemporary world around it, and one of those shows, not not never revived, but because it's so topical, is Call Me Mister. And this was a 1946 musical by Harold Rome about returning vets from World War II and their integration, both, I guess, what would I say, uh, socially and racially, into the warp and woof of the American fabric. This is a beautiful song that starts that show, uh, and it has an integrated group of soldiers coming back on the train, and the song is sung by Lawrence Winters, a really uh, lovely uh, African-American performer back from 1946 from Call Me Mister. This train is a going home train, this train. This train is a going home train, this train. This train is a going home train, never more to roam train. This train is a going home train, this train. This train back, is a going back, home train, quick back. This she's train. going. This train quick back, is a quick back, home quick train. back. This she's train. blowing. This train quick back, is a quick back, home quick train. back. No slowing. Home train. This train is a going home train, this train. Casey Jones, lead on that throttle stick. Make it fast, we want to get there quick. Engineer, please let it roar. Want to see that old familiar kitchen door. Let me off at my station, Porter, please. Let me off at my station, Porter, please. Oh, my old job is waiting when I finish celebrating. This train is going home, train this train. Let me off. Join civilian from now on. Let me off. Join civilian from now on. There'll be nobody to shout me, no one below or above me. Show civilian from now on. Gone to Washington, New Orleans, Kansas City, Siwash Junction, Ocean Falls, Tanenton, Seattle, all points east, west, south, and north, up and down and back and forth. This train, get aboard, get aboard, get aboard, get aboard, get aboard. This train is a going home train, this train. 
This train is a going home train. Never more to roam train. This train is a going home train. This train, this train, this train. Going home train from Call Me Mister. Well, let's go to the Grand Tour, a very underrated musical by Jerry Herman from 1977. I saw it in the back row of the Palace Theater. It got a standing ovation. The audience loved it. Closed in three months. But here is Joel Gray leading the company and a song about a train that's almost there. This old train is poor and tired, so your cooperation is urgently required. Although we're all embarking on a long and dismal trip, it's not too bad if you just add some French stiff upper lip. Spicy joke, a hand bridge, and we'll forget the trip is tedious and slow. The car is musty, the track is rusty, we'll wind up God knows where. But with diversion, it's an excursion, and so we're almost there. A little scroll from car to car to feel the spirit of the crowd in the groove. The roof is leaking, the wheels are shrieking, but we say, say, la, yeah, there's hell before us, but one more chorus, and look, we're almost there. Imagination is urgently required. See that quaint old factory in yonder glade. That's the place where Louis XV chairs are made. And on the left, that great big blur. I promise you that that's the back of the Sacre Coeur. That poplar played the noble role in history. Napoleon relieved himself behind that tree. That curl of smoke that stains the sky Would you believe that comes from a chimney at Versailles And see that lovely horse that's grazing there at the gate The grandpa of that horse made love to Catherine the Great I tell you This old train is quite a man if you close your eyes, you're on the Orient Express. A little break, a little break, to help forget the trip to lovely and to long. The motor grumbles, grumbles, and gives us quite a scare. It's love and risky, but have a risky, and look where we're all.
This is your conductor, Larry Maslon, now boarding for Broadway to Main Street, Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga. Today's theme is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles here on WPPB 88.3 FM Peconic Public Broadcasting. Well, if you're going to do a themed show about musicals that involve trains, there is one champion in the ring, and that, of course, is On the 20th Century, a wonderful, a wonderful musical by Cy Coleman and Comden and Green, 77-78 season. I love the show. It may be my favorite show. I saw the Boston tryout in a blizzard, and during intermission, a couple turned to me and said, Sir... Would you mind stop enjoying it so much? You're ruining it for the rest of us. Well, here is, uh, I'm going to pass it along again. I'm going to, you're going to enjoy it or I'm going to ruin it for you. Up to you. But here is a mini suite of three songs from, I think, a tremendous express train of a musical on the 20th century.
Wasn't it Robert Fulton who said, life is like a train? No, it wasn't. He said, life is like a boat. Wasn't it Isaac Newton who said, life is like a train? No, it wasn't. He said, life is like an apple. Wasn't it Lord Chesterfield who said, life is like a train? No, it wasn't. He said, life is like a coat. Then who said it? Who said it? We did. We did. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. Life is like a train. Life is like a train. And aren't we lucky to be making the ride together? Life is like a train. Like an apple. Life is like a train. 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 Life is like a T. Life is like an R. Life is like a T. Life is like an R. Life is like a train. Life is not a boat. Life is like a train. Life is not a boat. Life is like a train. Life is like a train. The 20th century has made its arrival after 16 hours at Grand Central Station. Let's take a breather in our show about planes, trains, and automobiles with a lovely song by Maltby and Shire called Travel. And this is from the 1993 British version of their stellar review, Starting Here, Starting Now. Take me where you want to go, make it anywhere at all. the blow any course it seems to go northward southward east or west take me different places show me different faces that's the life i like best travel as the boat says to the river when it's free and starting to blow take me where you
As they're starting out on their life, take me where you want to go. I will sail along with you. With our family in tow, we will see each other through. Your home here on Broadway to Main Street. This is your host, Larry Maslon. To this, we're getting to our final uh, travel mode, which is uh, automobiles. So let us go to the most famous taxi in musical theater history. This is the 1944 On the Town, scored by Bernstein and Comden and Green. And here is Nancy Walker to bring us up to her place. <laughs> My father told me, Chip, my boy, there'll come a time when you'll leave home. If you should ever hit New York, be sure to see the Hippodrome. The Hippodrome. The Hippodrome. Did I hear right? Did you say the Hippodrome? Yes, you heard right. Yes, I said the hip. Hey, what did you stop for? It ain't there anymore. I eat a sang an A and blew the place away. Oh, I wanted to see the Hippodrome. Well, give me a chance, kid. I haven't got 5,000 seats, but the one I have is a honey. Run up to my place. Oh, oh no, lady. Uh, I'd rather see the Forest Theater. When I was home, I saw the plays, the ladies' drama circle show. Now I am here. I want to get some tickets for Tobacco Road. Tobacco Road. Tobacco Road. Did I dig that? Did you say Tobacco Road? Yes, you dug that. Yes, I said Tobacco Road. Hey, what for did you stop? That show has closed up shop. I wanted to see Tobacco Road. Well, stick with me, kid, and I'll show you the road to ruin. Come on up to my place. No, uh, could we go to Battery Park? Back home, I dreamt of catching fish so big I couldn't carry them. They told me that they have my size right here in the aquarium. Aquarium! Aquarium. Hold the phone, Joe. Did you say aquarium? I'm still ringing. Yes, I said aquarium. Did you stop for what, hey? The fish have flown away. They're in the Bronx instead. They might as well be dead. Come on up to my place. No, let's go to Chambers Street. They told me I could see New York in all its spreading strength and power from the city's highest spot on top, the famous Woolworth Tower. The Woolworth Tower. The Woolworth Tower. Beat me, Daddy. Did you say the Woolworth Tower? I won't beat you, but I said the wall. Did you stop for a what? That ain't the highest spot. You're just a little late. We've got the Empire State. Let's go to my place. Let's go to Cleopatra's Needle. Let's go to my place. Let's see Wanamaker's store. Let's go to my place. Go to Lindy's, go to Luke Chow's. Let's go to my place. Let's see Radio City and Herald Square. Let's go to my place. Go to Rubens. Go to my place. Go to Macy's. Go to my place. Roxy. Go to my place. Cloisters, Gimbals, Flatiron, Why, this car could be automatic, systematic, hydromatic. Why, it's grease lightning. Up the hip overhead, lift is a four barrel quad. Keep talking, what well, keep talking. Keep injection cut off and chrome plated right again. We'll get the money, you know, we'll get the money. We're the four speed on the floor, they'll be waiting at the door. You know that ain't no shit. Scream. 
Well, probably the hottest hot rod ever seen on Broadway, Greased Lightning from Greece. And that was Matt Saldivar, a very talented and amiable fellow and a friend from the most recent revival of Greece on Broadway. Let us go to Dream Girls. Now, Dream Girls has a song in it about a car, and you're going to hear a version that includes Lilius White, Billy Porter, who just won a Tony, and believe it or not, Audra McDonald. So fasten your seatbelts, as they say in another show. You're going to hear a Cadillac car from the in-concert version of Dream Girls. Got me a Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac. Got me a Cadillac car. What you got there, baby? Got me a Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac. Look at me, mister, I'm a star. That's nice. Got me a Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac. Got me a Cadillac car. Got me a Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac. Look at me, mister, I'm a star. Let's go! Hi, this is Cece. Oh, everything's great. Uh, 
no, we're in Memphis now. Okay, she's right here. Okay. Hi, Miss Jones. It's Epi. Listen, Miss Jones, we're gonna make a record with James Thunder Early that CC wrote. When? In September. Hi, Mama. Mama, I know how hard you saved, but you gotta understand, I don't, I don't wanna be a school teacher. I can do more if I can just get to be somebody. And I promise you, I'll make you proud of me. I will. I'll be important. Mama, just let me try. Just let me try. Please let Come on, Miss Jones, let's try. Come on. What? what? I can? <laughs> I can! Oh, Mama, you did C.C. White composer. Ready, Jimmy? Just a second, baby. Okay, I'm ready. Cadillac card, take one. I got me a Cadillac. Cadillac, Cadillac. I got me a Cadillac. a concert version of Dream Girls featuring a pretty incredible cast, uh, Billy Porter, Lilius White, Heather Headley, and Audra McDonald. Uh, there's something about planes, trains, and automobiles that we've been listening to that uh, seems sort of improbable on the Broadway stage. After all, you're just sitting there in G101 and G103, and you're or 101 and 102, and uh, you're fairly boxed in. So maybe that there's something about that that excites the imagination of writers and directors and choreographers and certainly scene designers. I remember seeing On the 20th Century, and it was easy to say that Robin Wagner, the set designer, had contributed not only a moving train that just broke apart and flew around and zoomed along in many, many different uh, variations, but probably was the main character. In fact, it's the title character of the play, the uh, train, the 20th century. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little journey of planes, trains, and automobiles as we zoom along um, the landscape of the Broadway musical. And inevitably, we're going to conclude with probably the one song that not only takes a mode of transportation at face value, but turns it into a very beautiful and uplifting metaphor. And we heard a little bit of Audra McDonald before in our little take, a cut from Dreamgirls, but my motto is you can never have enough Audra McDonald. So here she is with Brian Stokes Mitchell singing the real kind of, I don't know, heart beater emotional center of the musical ragtime in which a car is not just a car, but it's a symbol of promise and hope for the future. Wheels of a Dream by Aarons and Flaherty from the original cast of Ragtime. I see he is 
face. I hear his heart beat. I look in those eyes. How wise they see. I will show him America and he will ride on the wheels of a dream. We'll go down south. Go down south. Your people. See my people. Won't they take to him like cats to cream? Oh. Then we'll travel on from there. California, who knows where? And we will ride on the wind. Of a dream. Yes, the wheels are turning for us, girl, and the times are starting to roll. Any man can get where he wants to if he's got some fire in his soul. We'll see justice, Sarah, and plenty of men who will stand up and give us our due. Oh, Sarah, it's more than promises. Sarah, it must be true. A country that lets a man like me own a car, raise a child, build a life with you. time all gone to. This is Larry Maslon here at Broadway to Main Street. Let's catch up next Sunday at 3. There's so much more embracing Still to be done But time is racing Oh, well We'll catch up Some other time